she looks a little bit more Puerto Rican. I don't know. It's hard. But especially like with the wigs, everything, like she definitely looks like a little bit more of African descent than Mexican descent, at least to me. And that's what it was giving. It was giving mixed girls. Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It is I, JC Ingram, and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, y'all, I am going to be doing my face, and I'm going to, we're going to be talking about the new Selena series on Netflix. So if y'all are into that, if y'all are watching it currently right now, I watched it all yesterday when it released, I, nine hours of that, I watched it, and it was it was everything, okay? We're gonna be talking about everything. We're gonna be talking about um, the comparison between the actual, you know, Selena herself and also the actor, actress that played her. Um, we're gonna be talking about, like, you know, the bad wigs. We're gonna be talking about all of that. So if y'all want to see that and watch me get glam while we talk about this, then just keep on watching. But before you keep on watching guys, please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family over here. We talk about um, beauty pretty much, but also like TV series, I guess. If this TV, if this show, I mean, wow. If this, uh, this video, um, you know, does pretty well, we might be continuing a series where we talk about other TV series or or movies, or we could be watching a movie together while I get glam. So if y'all want to see that, um, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's just get into this video. Okay y'all, so if y'all hear wind, I have my window open because my apartment is on hell right now. Um, but y'all, for primer, I'm going with the Huda Beauty Jelly Primer. I've been liking this. So, what we firstly gonna be talking about is the let me exit this shit out of on my um phone. So we're gonna be first talking about the the actress, okay? Everybody is talking about the actress. Everybody is saying she doesn't look anything like Selena. Here are some posts from Facebook that I actually seen. I didn't see any Twitter posts. Maybe because I barely be on Twitter. Um, I've seen, and this is everything like, you know, they're compar comparing, like, you know, the actor to the real Selena. Um, which is, I feel like it's kind of... <sighs> Stupid. It's better to compare the actor of the movie to the series actor, actress of Selena. Instead of like comparing the real Selena, like you're not really gonna find somebody that look too much like an actor. Like, you know, I mean, you're not gonna find someone that too much looks like the actual person. I just got a text message. Girl, that's actor pay saying, give me my money. <laughs> that's what they saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Um, my skin loves this stuff. So I feel like you're not really gonna find someone that really looks too much like Selena. Um, the actress is definitely giving sister. The actress is definitely giving um, a black woman, okay, and it's like definitely, definitely prominent. Um, so let's just do a little background check on the actress herself. I'm gonna wait till my hands dry down from this primer. I've been loving this primer for the winter, y'all. It's everything. So the actress is Chris, Kristen Sorantos, Kristen Sorantos. So Kristen Sorantos, she played in Walking Dead, Ned's Declassified School Survivor. Who did she play in Ned's? Susie Crabgrass. Stop fucking playing. This Susie Crabgrass from Ned's Ned. De Let me see. Oh my God, that is her. That is her. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna go back. Okay, so she played in Twilight. She played in Kyle Bell's while she played in all the Twilight movies. Okay, so she has like, you know, a little background. And she, I guess, let me see. 
race. Let's look up her race. She was born in Pasadena, California, raised in Burbank, California. Her mother is jewelry designer, public relations, and is me okay. She is of Mexican descent, which Selena is as well, but she is looking a little bit more. She looks a little bit more Puerto Rican. I don't know. It's hard, but especially like with the wigs, and everything like she definitely looks like a little bit more of African descent than Mexican descent, at least to me. And that's what it was giving. It was giving mixed girl, especially with the curly, terrible wigs. It was definitely giving mixed um, girl. And we about to be getting into those terrible wigs. Now, those wigs were really bad. <laughs> like, I feel like Netflix could have did way better when it came to those wigs. And I don't know what was going on. This actor everybody is literally complaining about. I don't know why everybody is in a fuss. I feel like she looked pretty good, the actor. I feel like she definitely looked pretty good in the series. Um, but it was just giving mixed girl. And those wigs, y'all. Uh, those wigs were terrible. This looks like I got a tan. It's okay. This is the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tint. How is this like more of a tint? I don't understand. This is like giving me a foundation. This is not giving me skin tint. This is giving me like a foundation. But what does give me a skin tint is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Fresh. That gives me more of a skin tint than this. But um, I'm just trying it for this video. The wigs were terrible. And that's what pretty much like, you know, that a lot of people were getting at as well. They did not like her hair and they did not like the wigs or anything. Um, I don't know. The wigs were bad. They were really bad. Selena fans were in the uproar. Um, in the comments, I look... I don't look that bad. But they were in the uproar in the comments about her wigs and like just everything. And people were saying she looked a little bit more like a black girl with the wigs on than she looked like Selena. So a comment said that was on that post, on this, you know, this viral Facebook post about it. They said the show would be better if the wigs looked human. I saw the lace hanging and I was pissed because the show is very fa fantastic. The Tyler, <laughs> the Tyler Perry wigs. <laughs> That's exactly what it was, y'all. It was literally giving Tyler Perry wigs. Um, the show was pretty good. I can't lie. I don't know if somebody, if other people finished it like me. Like, I literally finished it in one day. Like, in one sitting. I think um, I got off work. I watched it until, like, maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. And I was, like, finished with the series. I got off work at, like, 7 or 8. And then I was watching... Um, uh... A YouTube video and I was like um I just started looking at the comments somebody said did you see the Selena series yet I was like it's out so I instantly just started running and just you know started watching it from there so um I'm so fucking stupid I was about to do my eyes first and I'm so stupid because I forgot so I guess I'm about to move on to eyes. Oh yeah, a lot of people did not like the wigs. Oh, I forgot to go clean my sponge. Be right back. Moving on to the next subject, girl. I didn't know that Selena was American. Like I didn't know that she was born in America. And that just goes to show like, girl, I'm, I'm not really a big Selena fan. Like, you know, I'm not. You know, I don't know when she was, like, you know, I don't know when she was born. I just know, like, I think she died in the year I was born. I think that's about it. Like, I wasn't really a big fan because I don't really listen to, like, you know, um, Hispanic music. Like, I don't listen to Hispanic music. And that's how I feel, that's why I feel like, I guess, um, 
I didn't know that she was born. Like, I didn't know she couldn't speak English either. Like, I mean, Spanish. I didn't know she couldn't speak Spanish, y'all. That was, like, news to me. Like, I did not know that. I thought she was always, like, she could speak Spanish, but no. No, she could not. She was an English-speaking Mexican, like, Mexican-American, and I did not know that. So, the palette I'm going in with is the... Wow, Moon Spell Palette. And I'm just going to be using the neutrals in this palette just to do a like a nice neutral look. Um, I don't feel like doing too much today. But um, I didn't know that she didn't know Spanish. Like, I didn't know that at all, girl. I thought she was actually thought she was born in Mexico. Like, I thought she was born in Mexico. I thought she was like a Mexican, like, super pop star. Like, that's what I thought. I thought she was a Mexican super pop star. And um, that's how, like, a lot, I, I think, like, her music was just so popular in Mexico. It just trickled over into America with the Latin community, you know. And but I, that's, that's what I thought, like. You know, but this mo this series definitely taught me something. Because I didn't even watch her movie either. Simply because a lot of people said they didn't like it. So that's why I didn't watch it. Oh, I should do a video comparing the movie to the series. I should definitely do that. But her sister, Suzette, definitely said that... Um, she definitely said, like, the series is more in-depth and in detail than the... Um, then the movie and she said she actually cried because like the series was so accurate on um certain pieces of that story so she actually cried because of it and you know it was really sad it's really really sad and even like, like that's so crazy like her dad as well girl her dad was forcing her to sing like that's what i got from there like a controlling dad that was just basically trying to force his dream on on his daughter like just because she could sing like you know and it was like really really crazy and the fact that she didn't even want to be a singer she did not even want to be a singer y'all ain't that something she wanted to be a clothing designer. Like her clothing, I feel like, I feel like personally, I feel like her sister, Suzette, should definitely make a clothing line, like a clothing line um, with Selena, like in mind, because like Suzette, in the series, like Suzette definitely helped her sister um, create some of those like gorgeous pieces that she was wearing like Suzette helped her create some of those like flawless pieces that she was wearing that um Selena was wearing and um I feel like she should definitely do that I don't know if it's gonna happen or not but I feel like it should happen and by the way y'all I am a black person speaking on this like you know I'm not a Hispanic person at all I don't have come from um Latinx um heritage at all so this is just from uh, another ethnic person talking about another e ethnic like person pretty much and you know their story in the series on Netflix um, pretty much and like also like it was a little part where when they were in Mexico Suzette got Suzette gave her drumsticks to a little Mexican girl and like you know she basically felt appreciated as well because i feel like you know like when you living in a sibling's spotlight like that like you know you like you're living in a you know someone else's shadow can definitely hurt you and also like having that little mexican girl was there she was there to see suzette um having her there like you know just to basically make Suzette feel appreciated as well really took the cake for me girl I almost started crying because um it was just like it was just everything to me like just seeing that like you know like I said no one likes to be in someone else's shadow and you could definitely definitely see that in Suzette like you know she was basically living in her sister's shadow and Nobody likes that girl, like nobody.
but I was also happy and excited when they were talking about um like when this first got released like the trailer for this series first got released i was really really excited about it because everyone needs some kind of representation and just just seeing that like seeing another like seeing a movie about selena who's like you know another mexican american girl or just mexican girl pretty much can literally just have like a positive effect on so many people especially like what the world is going through right now bringing those memories back of when selena was alive a lot of people need that <laughs> this foundation is pretty good like i'm not even about to lie this <laughs> skin tint is pretty good y'all i actually just worked up the courage to actually film this video depression has been kicking my ass it has um and also my anxiety as well so me being on camera like this is i don't know it's pretty good i guess and doing my face. I haven't done my face in like two weeks. So I'm just gonna read this comment from this Facebook post that I actually seen and it kind of like was like, what? So this girl said, LOL, Selena didn't have any, oh, LOL, she didn't have any of Selena's stage presence. The looks five out of 10, the hair in the series by error, 10 out of 10, the outfits 10 out of 10, but, if you watch Selena's interviews and performances, Christian didn't do well. The lip syncing was horrible. As a fan, I watched it all the way through to support, but no, she did not sell me Selena. A lot of people were saying that as well. A lot of people were saying she did not give them Selena. She did not, did not like basically give you Selena. Like her acting was not there. Like that's what they were saying and um, it's crazy. I said, Selena series is trash and so is all the actors and actresses. Just trash. <laughs> Netflix Selena ain't thick though, the real one. Ain't thick like the real one. Wow, this is really crazy. She don't look like her. She doesn't, she doesn't look like her. She didn't. In the, in the trailer, she did give you Selena in the trailer, but on the show, no. Somebody said, I think she did a great job playing Selena. Can you do it? Period. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, can y'all do it though? Um, I'm taking a little bit of the Mac Times. Wow, that loud noise. Take a little bit of the Mac Times Patrick Star Powder. <laughs> so they even had a cameo of the you know her killer yolanda um and that was back i guess when she was working as a nurse and you know i guess the purpose of a fan club is to answer mail i guess for the you know for the said celebrity girl i didn't know that i thought a fan club was just for people that all appreciated the same artists and where they can connect and talk to each other about that artist. Like, I didn't know that a uh, fucking fan club answers letters and different things like that for um, that artist. I didn't know that. But back to her dad. Um, like I said, I feel like her dad was just forcing his dream on selena like i didn't i did not like that one bit it just gave me like toxic parent vibes i don't know that's what it gave me and she didn't even want to 
it just really just gave me toxic parent vibes like it really did really gave me toxic parent vibes okay y'all so i popped on lashes these are the mckinney lashes in arena y'all already know um so yeah let's just continue this conversation um i'm doing like all nude today so i did a nude eye and i'm about to do a nude lip so <sighs> So Selena's dad pretty much was a control freak. He was a control freak. He had to control everything, as y'all saw from the series. Girl, he had to control how she was singing, girl, what she was singing, even though she didn't want to. She wanted to sing in English, girl. But he was forcing her to sing in Spanish. But also, like, you know, it kind of worked in her favor as well, but it's not what she wanted to sing in the first place. Like, oh, so he was pretty much a control freak, y'all, as y'all saw. Like, I repeat myself um, from the series. <sighs> Girl, he forced Suzette to play the drums. Um, and he forced them to make that band, even though they didn't want to. Girl, he, like, her dad was literally just torturing them like in the show he was torturing them um he made them check out with food stamps when he didn't want to he was ashamed to even use food stamps um i guess girl he ran out of the welfare office when somebody recognized selena um and like he ran out of there and then like it was just a lot girl it was really a lot girl he made his son go in dumpster diving for cans girl when he didn't why would you tell someone to do something you would not want to do in the first place like i just don't understand that he makes suzette and her his son go and purchase stuff for food stamps because he was like ashamed of it and i feel like that was kind of racist i don't know it was kind of racist that he didn't want to be seen in the welfare office or even use food stamps kind of racist i don't know it's just me i don't know it was kind of racist to me girl you didn't want to be seen in the food stamp building pretty much girl you didn't want to see be seen using food stamps um because you were just ashamed of it like i guess you feel like anyone that uses food stamps girl should be ashamed of it and that's what i got from that don't hate me y'all and that's just how I felt about the entire Selena series. Like, that's how I felt. One final set of setting spray and I'm done. Hey y'all, so this is my wrap up of my review kind of video talking about the new selena series on netflix if y'all have not checked out the new series definitely check it out y'all um this background is literally going away this background is going away it's about to be a little christmasy up in here but um if y'all did enjoy this video of me talking about certain points in the series that um kind of like you know made me think pretty much and also if you guys like this look i did this nice nude um soft glam look then give this video a big thumbs up if you love selena at all i love selena i'm not really a big fan of her um if you are a fan of her i definitely suggest leaving a big thumbs up up under my video and also leaving a comment let me know what y'all thought about this series and if you agree with some of my stuff that i said in this video um so yeah i was just you know you know if y'all agree with some of the things that i said in this video then give this video a big thumbs up also leave a comment down below any hate comments um y'all would instantly be blocked okay y'all comment won't even show up i won't even see it okay but with all that being said y'all I will see y'all in a nice video. Bye, guys.